This video will be the only guide you need about dynamic codes and how to use them for Shopify and Klaviyo. So let's get right into it. First of all, I'm also going to cover why you even need those codes and then what is the alternative um, for them. So first of all, why you need dynamic codes? The main reason is that people can just Google your brand's name and then discount code if you are using a static code. So then they can just, you know, Google it. So let's say rich discount code. And then, you know, there are multiple, you know, different websites where essentially, you know, people can scout for um, and find the, you know, the static codes, like for example, this one. So they could just then copy, then they would go to the website, you know, they would click on whatever product they would add it to cart. Um, they would go to checkout. They could apply it and see if it works. Yeah, it worked. So as you can see, I didn't have to sign up their email list to, to get the 10% off. I just Googled it, copied the code, which ob obviously it's giving, you know, it's, it's assigning the affiliate sale to this website. But for customers, they don't care who gets the affiliate commission whatsoever. They just care about the lowest price and getting the discount code whatever way possible, you know, the easiest way available as well. So this is why static codes are not always the greatest, especially if you're a bigger brand like Rich, for example, you know, anyone can just Google their name, discount code, and you can see there is a ton of code. Probably some of them don't work, but the first one that I just copied, it actually worked and it gave me 10% off. And normally if someone would like to get this 10% off, they would probably need to sign up to the email list um of rich and then they have the you know the contact information then you can keep emailing them with multiple deals and so on and so on and sometimes maybe they someone will buy without using the discount which will be better for rich because their margins would be better on this purchase so that's why static codes are not always the greatest and that's where dynamic coupons come in because dynamic coupons as the name suggests they're being dynamic for every single user, they're being unique to every single person. So you'll be wondering, okay, how do I use them? Well, you need to use Klaviyo and then you go to, um, to content, then you go to coupons, okay? Then you click on create Shopify coupon, then for the name you suggest you type in anything. So for example, welcome. For the percent, for the discount type, it can be fixed amount, percentage or free shipping. And you know, the, um, the country is eligible and whatnot. Well, overall, most of the time you're gonna be using percentage or the amount of. So let's use percentage. It's gonna be, for example, ten percent off, just like you know we we did with Reach. Then it can be applied to the entire order. You can also do the minimum purchase. So, for example, using the Reach as an example, if they wouldn't like to the discount code to work on the single wallet, they would make it like minimum would be 200. So someone has to buy a wallet plus something else, okay? But you don't need to do this. Um, activation date at send time. So whenever the email is being sent, the code is being created and then expiration. So you can also use never, which I don't recommend. Um, on a specific date, it's cool if you're using it for campaigns. If you are sending a campaign with, you know, let's say 24 hours um, sale, you could make it then the next day. So in, in our case, it would be January 24th. The discount code would expire on this day. And then anytime someone would like to use it later on, they wouldn't be able to do it. But if you're using the discount, the dynamic codes in your welcome flow, for example, or in any of the other flows, I recommend making after a certain number of days or hours and usually you don't want to make it hours right um, you can make it days and let's say your welcome flow has five emails inside where the delay between each email is gonna be one day but the first email is being sent immediately so what you could do is have the code expire after five days and once again it's being activated at the send time so it would be act the act or it would expire five days after the first email went out so then when you send your last email in the welcome flow email number five and it says you have 24 hours to use the code or it expires you're not lying it's it's actually true it's gonna expire in you know uh, one day after they receive the email if once again your time delays are one day exactly between each email what you can also do is for campaigns for example if you're running 24 hours um flash sale or eight hours flash sale or whatever you can make it like that so the code is being activated at the same time let's say you're sending campaign at 10 a.m. Eastern time, um, it expires in, you know, 10 hours, it would expire at um, 8 p.m. Eastern time, okay? That's why you want to use either this or on a specific day, but usually the specific or certain number of days and hours will be more than enough. Let's do five days in our case, not 75, but five. 
um let's do five and then yeah once you have this you click on create coupon and your code is being created okay um you have it okay it's welcome um and it's still not gonna be the code welcome so no worries about it then if you want to use the code it's gonna be the same way of kind of uploading it to the email whether it's a flow or campaign it doesn't really matter how you do it you just go to campaigns um let's create the new campaign it will be email campaign um let's target whatever and then let's view template library. I'm just gonna pick whatever discount to be fair. I mean, whatever email or whatever discount. And yeah, then we have the email. Um, and then honestly, I could be you know showing you of that. I remember all of these syntax by you know by heart, but the simplest way to use them is just to Google Clave dynamic code, scroll down a little bit, and then you're gonna have the syntax for using the code um which is gonna show up here okay so if you would like to use the coupon code that you just created you would go to the email editor and wh where you have a space for the discount code it's not there in this case but where you have this space for example use code instead of typing you know your static code welcome you would copy this part so you would copy the entire syntax you would paste it here and where it says coupon name you would delete this and you would type in the name of the code you just created. In our case, it would be welcome. As you can see, we're seeing the nice frame around it right now, which means that the syntax is active and it was done properly. And when we go to the preview, it's, it shows us welcome um, hyphen preview, which means that the syntax worked and essentially the, when we would send this email and the user that would receive it, they would have a unique code just generated for their own so everyone you know every subscriber would have a different code and that's pretty much how you use it um, there's also a way to use it in sms it's the same exact way but what you can also do is have those codes um, being auto applied with the url so normally when you have you know let's just use a region example normally you would have their website and what you can do on Shopify is if you have static code, you would do discount slash, um, what was the code here? Like CJL, stuff like that. I believe it was CJL. Let me just like show you as an example. It was CLJ, okay. So I'm gonna remove it for now. Um, and it will be discount CLJ. And then if you, if you leave it like that and you copy or like if you would click on this, it would take you to the homepage um, of Rich. Right, like you would go here, but you can also redirect it to a specific um, collections or a specific product page, whatever you would like to. And then I'm also going to show you what, how it works. So right now you, you can see we have card with no discounts. We would pay $150, and let's say you know we would redirect it to to this product page. So we would do this redirect, um, and then it would be slash. Okay, you would have it like that. And if you click on this, on this button with this, you know, dynamic code, it should automatically apply the, the discount to our card. Let's see if that happened. Yep, you can see right now it's it's already applied. So, you know, this is how you would use the, the, the dynamic or the link for the static coupon to automatically apply on Shopify. This is how you would do it. But if you want to do it with dynamic codes, you can do pretty much the same thing where, to be honest, you can just Google it. Um, and then see what it would look like because I think it would be similarly it would be like this count but instead of this part you know we would have this part you would have something like this and then it would be also applied you know if you had the um, if you had the dynamic codes and the, if, if this email would be sent to the to the user then they would also be able to use, you know, they wouldn't need to enter it manually because I know one of the reasons why people don't like to use those dynamic codes is because they are so long, it's so hard to memorize them. So if that's the case for you, you can create a dynamic link just like that, um, where once again, it'd be your domain slash discount and then a slash you enter the exact syntax you entered here. And then you can have redirect to, you know, the product page or it could also be a card page, right? It's the exact same way. We would just need to go to your Shopify and change the redirect to whatever you would like it to be. If you want it to be homepage, you would just leave it like that and it would also work, okay? But then this is very good for people to, you know, use it um, or auto apply it so they don't need to memorize the code entirely because I know that sometimes it can be tough to memorize it um, if it's on a random string of letters and numbers. 
But yeah, this is how you would do it. And then alternative to this is using something weird, which once again, it still can be Googled, but it doesn't look like a basic code. So if you were to use the code welcome, instead of using code welcome, you would do like welcome one, you know, and random string of letters, something like this. And it would be a static code in Shopify, which, you know, it's, it's just simple because it's static. And then you can also make nicer images and incorporate the the codes nicer into, for like, for example, you could incorporate it here because of dynamic coupons, they need to be added using the Clavio block, the text block, which has to be on plain bit color background, which is not, it's, it's fine, but it's not ideal. But the, the alternative would be using a random code like this, which you once again would create as a static code in Shopify. And then you would just paste it over here um, as well. And then, you know, it would be auto applied as well. But yeah, this is pretty much how you would do it. Okay, I'm going to show you one more thing about the code because you can also add them to the thank you page of your pop-up, which is actually very nice because if you do it, then you're probably going to have higher lead to conversion rate um, like here, right? You'd have like code, um, which is unique code, which is a static code, which you would normally have, which allows people to clone it. But then you also have unique co um, unique coupon. You select Shopify coupon, welcome coupon. And then as you can see, it would have the dynamic coupon as well. So people would be able to, you know, copy it. And for the link, you would do the same thing. So instead of the static one, you would do, um, I think it was something like this, where you would do the exact same syntax that we used um, before, right? I don't remember right now, but it would just pretty much com um, copy and paste the exact same syntax. So then the, even if they clone the discount from the if they copy the discount from the thank you page of the pop-up, they would still have the code auto applied for them. So it just, once again, it's all about removing the friction on the user's side. That's why you want to have all of those codes auto applied. And I know you might say, okay, but maybe someone will have forgot to use the code and then they wouldn't, you know, they would pay more for the order. I mean, it is true, but from what we've seen people, if someone will apply the code, they will apply it. If they want, then, you know, it won't really matter. They would buy from you anyways. And yeah, this is how you would do dynamic code um, or dynamic link. Once again, your domain slash discount slash this syntax that you would use in the email. And then you can redirect them to whatever page. And yeah, the code would be auto applied. So this is exactly how you auto apply the dynamic codes and how to use them. And in general, why you need to use them. Um, if you want to learn more tricks and tips about, you know, email marketing and how to get better results with your emails for a recon brand, make sure to join my email list. After you sign up, you're going to get like 162 page guides worth of knowledge about email marketing. And yeah, it's just completely free. You're going to learn a lot. I'm going to be emailing you every single week with tons of knowledge, current trends and what's working for our clients. So, you know, you'll be up to date with the current, you know, trends and you, you will know what to implement for your brand. Uh, but if you want to learn more about Clavio or email marketing in general, make sure to watch my other video, which is going to be recommended by YouTube. Talk to you soon. Cheers.